Hey everybody, check it out. I created a action wheel game launcher and I separated them by genre. And I'm gonna show you how to do this too. You can scroll through each game and then eventually you're gonna push the dial to launch the game. It's that simple. So let's get started. Hi everyone, it's me, Vic. Today I'm going to be talking about turning your Stream Deck Plus into a game launcher. And to make things even simple, there's quite a few different methods that I'm going to show you. So let's get started here. Oh, I thought I hit the wrong button, y'all. Alrighty, so the first thing that we're going to do is... If you're wanting your own game icons when we're doing this manually, you're going to want to go to Icon Viewer and you're going to want to download this. It is safe. I have it on my own computer, and this is how I save the game icons specifically. If you are a Steam user and you don't want to do all that, you can actually download Bar Raider's Advanced Launcher. This thing is very handy. Um, it doesn't just work with games. It works with Windows applications as well. So this might come in handy for some people. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. First things first. Oh. I should probably open up my gaming profile, right? So that way y'all can see what I'm talking about. Yes, I do play some retro games with an emulator, but I also have the games. Um, I run things from Epic, there's my Battle.net, and then there's Steam. I also have GOG.com, and there's Ubisoft, EA, and of course, Xbox. Now, Xbox is one of those special things that I'm using advanced uh, launcher from Bar Raider. And, uh, you don't have to figure out the where the Xbox file or folder is, and I find it to be convenient. So if that works for you, then definitely head on over to the, the plugin store, the marketplace, download the plugin and uh, set it up. Now these numbers that you see here, this is nothing to do with my gaming profile, but when I am gaming, I like to see my temperatures. If you're interested in that, then you want to uh, download HW info, and I will show you that on the marketplace. <laughs> So this is going to be the extension that I use for HW Info. It's a very handy little tool um, and plugin. All right, but we're going to continue on here. So you're probably wondering, how do you get your games to go from here and then launch? Obviously, you're going to turn the dial and you're going to push the button to launch the game. But uh, it's very simple and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So I've created a third page just for this. Now, most of the games, when you download them from Steam or from Epic or from uh, Ubisoft, the icons on the desktop will usually have, when you right click, a URL. When you select the URL, you can actually go back in here to the dials with the new function that Elgato has brought to the Stream Deck. It's called an action wheel. You can place that in the dial, and then you can go to system. If I'm going too fast, just slow down the video. And you can drag website over, paste that URL in. Now, once you install Icon Viewer, I'm gonna show you how to save the icon because this is something that you can probably do. Um, again, if you're only using Steam, you don't have to worry about this step. Bar Raiders plugin actually gives you like a little visual of the banner from Steam. Yes, it looks a little stretched, but it still has an icon. So let's go to games and which one did we do? Final Fantasy 16? Okay, it's such an awesome game, y'all. All right, so we're gonna look for Final Fantasy 16, which is right here. And if you can see, there's an application right here. There's a whole bunch of other folders, but the game right here, some of the games you have to find like the binaries to do it and right click. So we're going to right click here. We're going to go to properties and then we're going to look where the tab says icon. I usually save the 256 by 256 and I actually do this in PNG and I will label it this and then I will hit save. It'll replace it, but it's there. All right. So that's what the icon is going to look like. Now all I have to do is go to set from file and I've already navigated to my desktop where I store my files and there we go. Now we can see it showing up in the action wheel right here. Now we want to add a few more, right? And you can do this by genre. So for example, I'm going to label this one RPG 
And if you didn't look at what I have before, I have it as RPG, action, farming, because I like farming sims. Uh, simulation games, kind of like where you have to do placing like Sim City stuff. It, it's very, um, very interesting. And some of them are like life choices, right? Like Life is Strange, which by the way, Double Exposure is coming out. I'm so excited. Um, there is multiplayer games and my Lego games that I enjoy. I play that in my leisure. Horror games, which are fun. If you like scary games, there's quite a few. I don't play a lot of them, but let's go ahead and continue on here. So we'll talk about what I have up here and how I did the applications for the game launchers, for example, like Diablo with Blizzard and other things. But uh, let's go back to this. So we're going to do this for each of the games that I have here. So as you do this, you really don't need the desktop shortcut anymore. There's Visions of Mana. So we're going to copy this one. We're going to go back here. We're going to paste this in here. And then we're going to uh, set the icon. So Visions of Mana is right here. And we're basically rinsing and repeating the process, right? So the next one that I have is Dragon Quest Treasures. We're going to copy. And we're going to paste that in. And now we want to change the icon. So we're going to set from file. And there it is. And we're going to do one more which is going to be, can I, I actually am going to do one manually, but I'm going to show you how to do that. For example, if the game doesn't have a URL. Now keep in mind the Canna Bridge of Spirits is from Epic, so like it doesn't have to be Steam, but this is why I'm doing it manually so you can see how to do it for each game launcher. Um, you don't have to technically go into Epic and do it. You do this and it'll launch the game for you. It'll open up the game launcher, so you don't really need to worry about that. But if you look, now you can turn the dial and you can scroll through the games. It depends on how much games you have. I have quite a few, so I have them in sections, right? So I can scroll through my Final Fantasy RPG and then I can get to like Kingdom Hearts and Chrono Trigger, Chrono Cross, Dragon Quest series, Forspoken, Nino you know, Kuni. You know, I can scroll through Assassin's Creed all the way from some random games and the Hades games, which were a lot of fun. Um, yeah, right? There's a uh, Fallen Order and all the new ones. Look, God of War, we got Ori. Um, we even got some farming sims. Yeah, I know my farming sims are limited, but that's okay. And like I said, it's a very simple thing to scroll through it per genre or per category that you prefer, right? Because it's really your preference when you're setting these things up. All right, so I'm gonna show you the Bar Raider way. And, and then I'm gonna show you how to do it by an, actually, you know what, let's continue the manual process first. All right, so let's go to action wheel, start a second one, and this time we're gonna do open. So let's go to my game folders and just pick a random game, and we're gonna go to Steam, because most of my games are Steam. Not all, but most. Uh, let's do Bravely Default, why not? Okay, here's the application, but sometimes you have to go into the binaries to actually pull up the correct one. And the only reason I know this is because I've done this plenty of times here, right? So I didn't save the icon for this, so let me go ahead and do that real quick. May or may not have. Bravely default to. All right, so that's saved. Now what we're gonna do is right click and what we're looking for is copy as path. Now we're gonna save that and we're gonna paste that in here. Cause if you go to the folder and you go directly to that area, you will not see the EXE. Those quotations are important. Now we can right click and set from file and select bravely default. And that's what we would do if we were wanting to do it as a manual open the game EXE. But now we're gonna go to look for bar raiders plugin. I have quite a few plugins here. type in bar reader and it should pull up. We're looking for advanced, <laughs> advanced launcher right down here. So you see where it says advanced launcher, MS store launcher, process killer, and steam game launcher. We're gonna select steam game launcher because that's the only one they have. 
I actually reached out on their Discord and they told me that some of the APIs with other launchers don't have it open. So this is the only reason why he has it for Steam. So let's just say I wanted to do Child of Light, right? You see how it automatically has the icon there? So if I were to go here, now we're to scroll through it, it would already be there, which is pretty awesome. And you can do that for each of your Steam games. So we could do another one here. And let's put in, oh wait, I meant Cat's Quest, right? Yeah. Show the name on the key. I don't think we need to do that, but we told it to fit. Um, you could center it if you wanted to. You could crop left. Oh, but you see how like a lot of the stuff gets kind of uh, cut out. We could center it. We could fit it. And as you adjust it, it adjusts for you. So if I center it, right, it looks better, but it really depends on preference. I prefer to fit it even if it's stretched because then at that point I can see here when I'm scrolling through it. Oh, that's Cat's Quest. But if that's just too much for you, center seems to probably be the better option, right? So then if I were doing that, I can actually see, oh, there's a cat on a ship. You know, so it really depends on preference when it comes to that. But I wanted to show you all that because it's a very simple process to set up the games. And then once you push the button, which we'll use Dragon Quest because it's in window format, unless I use a particular thing to make it ultra wide, it launches the game for you. And that's the whole purpose of it. Just scrolling through, pushing the dial and it launches. Isn't that amazing? Anyways. I did forget one more thing. I was gonna show you how to do the launchers. So with the launchers, we're gonna actually do the copy as path. So you have to manually navigate, right? And I'm gonna show you how to do that. We're gonna start from the beginning. And it depends on where you install your folder, right? So you're gonna actually go to your local disk. And mine is in my uh, programs file 86. Here is Epic Games. We're gonna go to launcher. We're gonna go to portal binaries because most of the time it's in binaries and 64. We're going to scroll all the way down till we see the launcher. We're going to right click and do you see where it says copy as path? We're going to do that. Now what we're going to do is paste this right here and then we're going to change the icon. I don't even know if I saved the icon but you know what I have a theme going on here so let's go ahead and look for epic. I wonder if I just type in game if it will pull up. It might take a minute. Um, okay, maybe I need to type in epic. Ah, look, there we go. Problem solved. <laughs> and that's how you do it. So we could probably do this again for Blizzard, right? So we would navigate here. Again, we're gonna go to our local disk because this is where I save mine. And if you see, I should have Battle.net. And then there's the Battle.net launcher. We would copy as path. And then we would paste that in here and we would type in ideally Battle.net, it should pull up. There we go. And so when you click on these, for example, clicked on Battle.net, it should launch our Battle.net. Or when we click on Epic, it should launch our Epic. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope this has helped you turn your Stream Deck Plus into your preference of an app launcher, game launcher. Um, also, you know, Bar Raiders tool is gonna come in extremely handy for just Steam users. Thanks again for watching.